welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a moon in the night sky. We are going to be painting the moon in watercolor and then painting the sky around it and the stars in acrylic. I was inspired by the super moon. This is a really easy tutorial. Anyone can do this. This is a great tutorial if you're beginning with watercolor or if you're trying to figure out how to use acrylics or maybe even want to do some kind of mixed media artwork. These are the supplies that you need. You need some watercolors. We will just be using the black watercolor. If you don't have watercolors, you can just use a really watered down black acrylic paint. Black and white acrylic paint, something to put the paint on, and I'm going to just be using a plate, just a glass plate. I'm going to be using a number 10 Winsor & Newton round brush to paint pretty much everything. You can use a flat brush or a toothbrush to flick the stars in the night sky. You need a pencil to draw the moon with. Masking tape. This is going to be useful while we're taping our borders, but this is also going to be the shape of our moon. Watercolor paper, paper towel, water. I think that's it. Let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is tape your border. Make it as wide as you want. This also makes it look a little bit more finished. Press your finger around the edges and make sure it's sealed. You can put the moon wherever you want. You could put it right in the middle. You could put it kind of off-centered. If you want a little moon, use the inside. If you want a bigger moon, use the outside. Take your pencil and trace your masking tape. I'm using the Sumo Grip pencil made by Sakura. There we have the shape of our moon. Get set up to paint with your watercolors. If you're left-handed, go ahead and move your paints to the left side of your paper. If you're right-handed, move them to the right side. We're also going to be using our paper towel to kind of dab parts out of this. So make sure you have your paper towel. Also, I would have like a scrap piece of paper. Scratch pieces of, of paper are nice so we can test our colors and also so that we might use part of this to trace a shape. I like to have a scratch piece of paper also so that I can test out my colors. To paint the moon, we want to start with a really, really light gray. First, we're just going to make a light gray. So we're going to put a puddle in the tray right here. I'm just dropping some water in. I need kind of a lot because we're going to cover this whole shape. And then I'm dropping just a little bit of black in there. Make it a little bit lighter. Just add a little bit more water. If you don't have a scratch piece of paper, you can also just paint it on your paper towel. That's similar to the color we want. Just cover the whole thing in your gray. Make sure you don't scrub it. I, I talk, call it scrubbing. It's when you're going back and forth across your paper. We're just going to paint the whole moon. And it's okay if you go over the edges. We're going to be painting the background with black acrylic paint. And you can leave some of these white scratchy parts if you like that. Just cover the whole moon with your light gray. Now take your paper towel and we are going to just blot out some of these lighter areas. Put your paper towel at a point. Come around the edges, especially along the top. Kind of kind of pick it up around this side. I'm gonna leave it dark right there, but I wanna just make it a little bit lighter in these areas. Just dabbing it and I'm just gonna come in some of these areas. Now it's gonna be as light as our moon gets. If you want your moon to be lighter than this, just don't use quite as much black. Then we're going to come back in. I'm gonna add a little bit more black to this puddle. So I've got it a little bit darker and now what we're going to do is add a little bit more detail in some of these dark areas. And you can even just leave it like this. At whatever point you wanna stop, just you can stop. You don't have to keep painting with me. And when I paint like this, I'm going to be just dabbing it on. I'm trying not to paint in lines. And don't worry, I'll show you how to blend that in a little bit more over there. And any area you have a hard line and you don't want it, just rinse your brush off in the water, touch it on your paper towel. And you can even use your paper towel in this part to soften it up. You can dab it as well. So this is just water going over those hard edges. And then maybe I wanna bring some shadows into this area. Okay, now I'll show you what it looks like. Instead of dabbing it with your brush, you can take your paper towel and you can go around some of those edges as well. You can kind of make this texture. There's a few different ways to do it. So you can use your paintbrush with a little water or you can dab it with your paper towel. Just try not to scrub the paper, that's key. You can make it a little bit darker. You can keep it really bright. So we're just adding some layers of some darker colors. You can take your brush or your paper towel and check your edges. Let it dry and then we will paint our background in. The reason you wanna to wait to paint your background is these areas right here, I want this to stay dark. And if I paint next to it, it's going to bleed into my background. Once it's dry, let's get our acrylic set up. So you need your palette or plate. Honestly, you could just use a piece of paper too. Black and white acrylic paint, water and a paper towel, and your brush. What we're going to do first is cover the entire background with black. As we paint the background, we're going to try to redefine the shape of the moon so it looks a little bit more round instead of lopsided. So grab your black, some of it on your plate. I like to use water. You can get this completely solid black. I just like to add a little bit of water to it. And I'm going to be painting in brush strokes that are going around the moon, but you don't have to do that. The more water you use, the more translucent or see-through, transparent, your acrylic paint will be. So if you don't want it to be translucent, you want it to be solid and opaque, don't use water or don't use very much water. If you don't like to see any brush strokes, you can paint two layers. If you have steadier hands, you can probably make this moon look a little bit more round.
All right, clean off your brush, let the black dry, and I will show you how to do the next step. While you're waiting for your black acrylic paint to dry, we're going to make a mask. So basically we're going to make something that will block out this moon while we're splattering the stars. Grab a piece of paper. I'm just gonna use a scrap piece of watercolor paper that I have. Grab your tape, trace it just like we did in the beginning, and then cut that out. So I did forget to say you need scissors. The reason we did that is because we're going to be splattering the white paint on it and we wanna cover up our moon. So we don't want it to be <laughs> splattered with white. So we'll just cover it with our scrap piece of paper. And also I would rinse out your water and get clean water before we use the white. Once your acrylic paint has dried, and make sure it's dry because when you set this piece of paper over it, if there's wet parts, it's gonna drag the black across your moon. You want to put your piece of paper over your moon. Put some white acrylic paint on your palette or your plate. You can click on this link right here if you wanna learn how to do it with the toothbrush. I'm just gonna be doing it with my paintbrush and I'm just gonna flick it like this. But we need it to be a little bit wetter. So add some water to it to make it a little bit thinner. And I would get your test piece of paper and just test it out. Yeah, this works okay. Load up your paintbrush. And then I like to use the opposite hand to just kind of flick it. I wanted the stars to be a little bit more subtle, but I think I used a little bit too much water. Take your paper off. You can take your tape off and you are finished. I hope you had success with this tutorial. I hope your stars look way better than mine and I hope your moon looks more round. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I do, this was a requested tutorial. I hope you had a chance to see the super moon. I would love to see your paintings. Post them to Instagram or Facebook using hashtag Mr. Otter Studio or Mr. Otter Art Studio. So have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.